Hi, welcome to the domain 13 of CCSK. This domain is focused on security as a service. Two questions we can expect in the exam. If you're watching my videos for the first time, um, please subscribe to the channel for the regular video updates. What are the uh, what is the security as a service? Um, basically, when when we are in the cloud, uh, security as a service can be in the form of the security products that we don't want to buy because anything um, that we buy it is it is costly and uh, we may not have um, the resources or the manpower to you know the expert manpower to manage uh, those services in house so rather we choose as uh, as a service and we pay per use uh, for those services this is where the security as a service uh, becomes handy uh, in the cloud also, the providers uh, the providers offer the security capabilities as a security as a cloud service um, that includes uh, dedicated SACAS providers, and uh, this is coming in the form of uh, the services or or some kind of products. For example, uh, if you talk about the products, this could be uh, the scanning, or this could be anything you know, threat intelligence tools or uh, anything such sort can be fall in the category of uh, the security as a service. Um, this is product and the services as well. So there are different benefits if we go uh, if we go with this approach and uh, we choose you know um, the security as a service. Then we have uh, the cloud computing benefits here, and uh, you know. Uh, where uh, the normal potential benefit of the cloud computing, such as um, the reduced capital expenses, um, agility, redundancy, high availability, resiliency, etc. So these are all uh, cloud computing benefits here. It's staffing and expertise. Um, the organization usually struggle to employ, train, or retain the security professional across the relevant domain of expert. SACAS provider um, brings the benefit of extensive domain knowledge and uh, research that may be um, unattainable for many organizations um, that are not solely focused on the security or the specific security domain. The intelligence uh, sharing, um, that is another benefit. Um, that is uh, the opportunity to share uh, the data uh, related to the intelligence and data across uh, them. For example, finding a malware sample in one client allows the provider to immediately add it to their defensive platform um, so that uh, protecting all other customers. Um, next is the deployment flexibility. Uh, these are the services uh, can typically handle more flexible deployment models, such as supporting the distributed locations without the complexity of uh, multi-site hardware initialization. Insulation of the client. Um, it is uh, the uh, when SACAS can interpret uh, intercept the attacks before they hit the organization. So that basically insulate uh, the clients. For example, uh, spam filtering and cloud-based uh, web application firewalls uh, that are positions uh, positioned between the attacker and the organization. So that uh, insulate the uh, the client from those. Uh, scaling and cost. The cloud model provides the consumer with a pay as you go grow model, uh, which also helps the organization uh, focus on their core business and uh, let them leave security concern to the experts. So any benefit, uh, of course, in the cloud uh, that also brings in some uh, issues, some concerns in the SACAS. And uh, these are like uh, lack of visibility because you are using the uh, security as a service. You don't have visibility because you don't have the resources to, to analyze those and you have to rely on, uh, on the SACAS provider. Uh, and they may not uh, reveal the exact details of how it uh, implements its own security and manages um, you know their uh, own environment depending on the services and the providers uh, that may result in a difference in the uh, data source and the level of details available for uh, things like monitoring and incidents some information that um, the customer may be accustomed to uh, having uh, may look different have gaps 
or uh, not be available at all. The actual evidence and the uh, artifacts of the compliances as well as the other investigative uh, data may not meet the customer goal uh, with that. Regulation differences, uh, given the global regulatory requirements, SACAS provides may be uh, you know, unable to assure compliances in all jurisdictions that uh, an organization operates in. So that is another challenge. And if you have to comply to those regulations, uh, those compliances in the different regions where the SACAS provider is not offering their services, you have to have uh, your own um, on deployment uh, or you have to purchase those products or services which you are um, for which you are using this SACAS provider. So that is another issue. Handling of the regulated data, the customer will also need the um, assurance that they that any regulated data potentially uh, vacuum um, up as uh, the part of routine security scanning or uh, the security incident is handled in accordance with any compliance requirement. For example, um, employee monitoring in Europe uh, is more restrictive then it is in united states and even basic security monitoring practice um, could violate the workers right in that region data leakage uh, leaking data from uh, one cloud to another this concern is not unique to the uh, secas but yes of course highly sensitive uh, nature of security data doesn't mean that secas provider would be uh, held to the highest standard of uh, the multi-tenant uh, isolation and segregations Changing provider, although simply switching SACAS provider may um, on the surface seems easier than the swapping out uh, on-premise hardware and software. Um, uh, the organization may be concerned about uh, the lock-in due to the potentially uh, losing access to data, including historical data needed for the compliance or investigative support. Migration to, um, to SACAS for organizations that uh, have existing security operations and on-prem legacy security control solutions, the migration to the SACAS and the boundary and interface between uh, uh, any in-house IT department and SACAS provider uh, must be well planned, exercise and maintained. There are different kind of uh, SACAS offerings uh, in the cloud, um, like identity uh, providers. You, you will see a lot of identity providers who are providing the identity and uh, you know, uh, managing the entitlement and uh, access management services. Cloud access um, and security brokers, uh, um, also known as the cloud security gateways. This is another um, offering in SACAS, uh, web security gateway, email security, um, security assessment. Uh, when we say uh, the security assessment, it is kind of SAS, uh, the static uh, analysis, security testing. Uh, similarly, the DAST or the compliance assessment. Um, web application, um, firewalls, WAF, um, this is especially for the customers to redirect the traffic um, to a service that analyzes and filter the traffic before passing it to um, the destination web application. Uh, IDS and IPS uh, that monitors the behavior patterns using rule-based heuristic or behavioral model to detect the anomalies in the uh, activities ongoing and report them to SIEM. SIM is uh, basically for uh, the security information and event management uh, to uh, collect such events and uh, dashboard them and to alert the, uh, the SOC uh, administrators uh, so that they can, uh, they can take action accordingly. Encryption and key management, this is another kind of uh, service in the cloud um, for managing the keys and for uh, backup and all that. And also we have uh, the business continuity and disaster recovery in the cloud, which is another SACAS offering. So these are the uh, these are the overall uh, SACAS offerings in uh, in the uh, in the cloud, which uh, which are being you know offered um, as a security as a service or security uh, you know uh, in terms of the products which are uh, offered. So, uh, okay, uh, okay, so which of the following uh, SACAS solution uh, can be used to enforce your policies using uh, someone else's system? So yeah, WAF, uh, uh, web filtering, email security. Uh, so the answer is uh, all of above because WAF, um, uh, web filtering and email security, these are all uh, the SACAS solutions uh, uh, 
which are um, used to enforce your uh, policies. Security as a service, uh, SACAS providers might offer strong authentication capabilities such as the mobile device uh, applications and um, what else could be here? So it talks about the strong authentication. That is the keyword. So we need to identify from these uh, from these options that what are what are the authentication options in this uh, list? Uh, user training. It is not the authentication option. Uh, AES encryption, of course, not. Uh, floating device is not. Uh, so the tokens for multi-factor uh, authentication. Of course, this is the uh, strong authentication uh, mechanism. So that should be the right answer here. With this, we conclude the CCSK Domain 13 Security as a Service. Thanks for watching the full video. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share in your uh, network so that um, everyone else can also take the benefit. Thank you.